In 2021, Elaine Thompson Hurrah cemented her legacy as one of the greatest sprinters alive. After two disappointing world championships in 2017 and 2019, the 29 year old Jamaican came back in 2021 to put on a performance of a lifetime to win her second Olympic individual double, winning the 100 and 200 meter. To win was special enough, but to win the 100 meter in an Olympic record time of 10.61 and the 200 meter in the second fastest time in history truly showed just what caliber of talent we were witnessing. She took a step further two weeks after those performances to run the fastest 100 meter by a female in the 21st century at the Prefontaine Classics, running 10.54 in Oregon in one of the most anticipated races of the year. As a result of that run, Thompson Hurrah really made us wonder whether or not she can really take down two of sprinting's toughest world records. As we know, both these world records belong to Florence Griffith Joyner, the legendary American sprinter, who ran times of 10.49 and 21.34 in the summer of 1998 to crown herself the fastest woman to ever live. To achieve this, Flojo mastered relaxation and efficiency in a sport where brute power was thought of as the key to success. This is why it should come as no surprise to see someone who abides by those principles being the biggest challenger to her 33-year-old world records. Elaine is the smoothest sprinter in modern athletics, and she doesn't do this just to look pretty on the track. She does this because she knows how important it is to relax. When she relaxes, she is more coordinated in her movements which in turn uses the right muscles at the right intensity. This fact is often overlooked, but the truth is speed cannot be forced. And this is one thing that Flojo and Elaine knew that propelled them to that level of speed and may even be why Elaine takes down the world records. Elaine has a tendency to accelerate longer than the average sprinter, given her drive phase is longer than normal. As a result, she decelerates less than everyone else, a very dangerous thing when you have the sort of top speed she has. In her 10.54 in Oregon, her top end was recorded at 11.1 meters per second. Despite her great success in 2021, coming close to the record this season, it is important that she doesn't overthink and try to change what was already a successful formula. Sometimes overthinking or trying too hard can hurt one's progress, something that happens a lot in sprinting. She already has the tools to take down Flojo's incredible world records. All she has to do is to continue with the same principles that got her to this level. <laughs>